recently realised, looking at the map, that I hadn't walked the River Lee from Rye House to Ware, at least, anyway. And that when I've um, come up this way in the past, I've, uh, I've, I've sort of got on the um, New River path at Broxbourne and then kind of come out of Great Amwell. And I don't think I've ever walked this stretch from Rye House at least to Ware, anyway. I've come in at Ware and Hartford from various angles. I look long here. I set out to do this a couple of weeks ago and there was a big problem with the trains, so I didn't do it. I did a walk that ended at Broxbourne, which was great. So it feels like I'm now doing the walk I wanted to do three weeks ago. Already you can see how delightful it is. It's four o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. The need for a simple walk today. Something with no navigating. It's interesting the way the further along the river you go, the fewer people you see. And then the nearer you get to the town, suddenly you see them again. And then when you leave the settlements, the people fade away, apart from the odd cyclist. As I'm fond of repeating, every time I'm out along here, is this is an area of really ancient settlement. It's such a storied landscape. It takes you right the way through. You've got the Rye House plotters, when was that? 17th century? But then going right back into prehistory. And I've walked around these hills around here and there's burial mounds and earthworks and all sorts of things up in the hills around the Upper Lee Valley. Clearly a very significant place. It's a fascinating, storied, beautiful landscape. I love it so much up here. Stansted Abbots and such a significant colony of boat people. It's the, one of the biggest clusters of boats you'll see this side of the uh, Copper Mill Marina. Fantastic stuff. Stansted Abbots also has a particularly good local history society. Take a look at their website if you're interested in the history of this area. Loads of stuff there. It's fantastic. Really something uh, sort of idyllic about the idea of living on a on a narrow boat. It's sort of very romantic, isn't it? I'm sure the reality is very different. There's actually a really good uh, YouTube channel where a guy goes to live on a barge and he kind of uh, charts that whole journey. It's called Cruising the Cut. And yeah, it looks far from glamorous. There's a riverside pub there, it looks amazing. But I'm gonna resist it and carry on walking. There you go, have that for the record. I'm completely seduced by St Margaret's and Stansted Abbots. I came through here a couple of years ago to walk up into the hills, but didn't really loiter much, but the village itself looked really lovely. Yeah, I came through here about, the, uh, about a week before Christmas, early, very early in the morning. It was magical. It was all cold and misty and you could smell of wood smoke. It was beautiful. I hate to say it, but it looks like the colour of those leaves are turning on that tree. What's the day today? The 19th of August. Always something slightly dramatic about a lock, isn't there? The other week, when we walked from Royden down to uh, Ware, it's the other side of those hills you can see there, on the far side of that. I think that's looking up towards East Snow Wood. And we walked in the hills to the other side beyond. What a glorious walk that was. I think with towpath walks, is they become quite meditative because you can just sort of switch off. And just listen to the sound of your feet on the on the on the gravel. Look at the reflections in the water. This is another one of those stretches where 
You've moved away from Stansted Abbots and suddenly there's no one around. Got a couple of miles of solitude. I've heard it a few times now, but the Bohemian community in London that was once there that have now been priced out of the city, that this is where Bohemian London can be found now. In the boats and the barges along the Lee Valley and the River Stork navigation. You've got a sense of it back there, really, when you're down at St. Uh, St. Uh, Stansted Abbots near St. Margaret Station. Out there, it kind of felt a little bit like that. The music coming from the boats, people doing bits of kind of repair work and just hanging around on the towpath there. Again, more romanticization of the uh, probably quite a grim life of living on a boat. We're approaching the uh, ancient and venerable town of Ware now. It's obviously just the outskirts of it. Wonderful place, Ware. Had a, had a pint in there at the end of my walk from Royden to Ware. About a month ago now, isn't it? It's a glorious place <laughs> to end a walk. A pint beside the River Lee, but it did make me want to carry on walking to Hartford, which is what I'm going to do now. It's only five o'clock, loads of time. This feels like a particularly beautiful stretch of the river. Those leaves are definitely changing colour. time I walked between Hartford and Ware it was just uh, around mid-winter it was pitch black completely inky darkness and I walked along the road so I haven't walked along this bit oh, it's beautiful it says Hartford two miles behind the leaves there's some really beautiful meadowland here marshland that runs alongside the, the river between Hartford and Ware definitely worth coming back to walk through there I think so I think that hill up there is where the Pinehurst estate is. You can just see those brown buildings there just to the right. And that's where there's a burial mound in the middle of that estate, a Bronze Age burial mound where I went with Dave Binns. There's a video here on this channel you can see of that. Mm. A field of geese. This is where they come together. The goose field. So here's the end of the new river path. It starts down on the Penton Mound in Islington. Works its way all through North London and out through Hertfordshire to here. I'm going to do that in one go one day. One day, I keep saying. <laughs> it's about 27, 28 miles from end to end. Final stretch into Hartford. It looks perfect, doesn't it? Coming up to six o'clock, about five to six. Been an absolutely cracking walk, exceeded expectations. It's coming up to the end of the walk now, Hartford East Station's up here, and that's the end for me. Thanks so much for coming with me again today. It's been beautiful and I'm really glad to have filled in this part of the River Lee walk. I think I've covered it all now, up to here. I've actually walked some of the River Lee beyond, but it's not so easy to walk along. That's perfect Sunday evening walk. Wonderful. See you on the next one, wherever that may be. Who knows? It's always good to end a walk with ideas for another one. It'd be great to walk further on from here.
in the fields above Hartford. <laughs> 